everyone, and welcome to Creative Thinking Thursdays. And today we're going to be reading the book, Goodbye School, by Tanya Lippert. Goodbye School. The door of the classroom stood before her. The whole building was hushed. School had ended, but no one told her to hurry up or said, time to go. But today, it was time to go. Franny had to say goodbye. What? She's saying goodbye to school. Franny put her hand on the outside wall of the classroom. It's okay, it's okay. She flew her fingers over its rough and smooth spots and felt its warmth. Look, she's touching the classroom. She's push, touching the classroom wall. Franny wondered how she could say her last goodbye to her school. She played here, read here, learned here, and even used to nap here. She had friends here. Now she was going somewhere else. Look, now she has to say goodbye to everything. Franny opened the door. The classroom felt big and small at the same time. She found her chair that let her see through the window. Hello, chair. Whichever way she sat, the chair held her. Even the time Billy had tried to pull her off it, the chair fell with her. She traced its scratches. Oh no, look at that. This is Billy. <gasps> that's actually, that's not nice. A bird rested at the window. Hello, bird. Franny whispered. She'd missed the window. Every day she had watched at three o'clock for all the parents. She would look outside the window at three o'clock to see all the parents coming in to pick up their kids. Franny breathed. Books, chalk, school, graham crackers. For a moment, the classroom seemed to have light and warmth as Franny remembered sitting with graham crackers and milk. She felt she belonged. She felt lighter. Look, look at everything. I think some of my friends here could probably, you know, relate to Franny and having the graham crackers in school. A low shush of wind blew through the trees outside, making them seem lighter too. Franny and her best friend Katie had been friends with the trees. Sometimes they liked to sit under them and look for four-leaf clovers as the sun and shade slipped across their faces. <gasps> four-leaf clovers, friends. If you guys don't know, four-leaf clovers represent good luck, and they're really hard to find. They're very rare. Franny knew how she wanted to say goodbye. <gasps> how do you think she's going to say goodbye? I don't know. Let's see. Visiting her empty cubby, she said, thank you, kissed the clover, and set it down. Franny paused at the table with the green, red, pink, orange, brown, blue, and faded yellow construction paper. Orange was always her favorite. Look, she found a four-leaf clover. She's so lucky. I think she's going to leave it right there with the construction paper. Back at the door, Franny admired her work. Oh my goodness, <gasps> look at all those four-leaf clovers everywhere. Oh my goodness, she found a lot. That's amazing. I've never found even one. <laughs> Goodbye, she said to her school, solid and strong. Franny pulled her shoulders back to be solid and strong too. <gasps> look at her. She's walking strong. That means she's trying to make sure she feels okay with it. You know, it might be, it's a little hard saying goodbye sometimes. Franny hugged her teacher and then her old tree friend. Be my classroom's friend now. Look, she's hugging her teacher. 
and she's hugging the old tree. Mom asked, are you ready? Franny looked at her bracelet and one more thing she'd kept. I'm ready. <gasps> Look what she kept. She kept a four leaf clover that I guess she found all over in the backyard of the school. So it's a nice reminder. The end. Friends, do you think you're going to miss school too? Just like Franny? Hmm. Let's see. I know I'm going to miss school and I wish I could do something special too. She left four leaf clovers everywhere, right? Are you going to miss maybe your friends? What are you gonna miss from school? Let's see, what would I miss? Hmm. I know I would miss all of you guys. I'd miss all of you guys. You guys are amazing. And you guys give the best hugs. And you guys are so smart. And I know that's exactly what I'm going to miss. I'm gonna miss all my friends, which are you guys. And I'm sure you guys are gonna miss the other teachers and your friends too. Let's see. What else? What did you like about the book? What was your favorite part? What was her saying goodbye to? Let's see. I think my favorite part was... I know what my favorite part was. I think it was this part when she was breathing and she just remembered the smell of the books, the chalk, the school, and the graham crackers because that's kind of like our days, right? We can smell the books, and maybe we can't smell the chalk, but we can smell the dry erase markers when we're using them, and the school and the graham crackers that we practically ate probably twice a week, right? It just reminds you of school. Those are things that remind you of school because it's something that you would always do while at school. And I really enjoyed that because I can relate to Franny because I've been there and I've done that just like her, and I'm sure you guys too. I hope you guys enjoyed this book.